I was watching your backhand there against yeah. the backspin. Yes. There is no question about it, you have the best backhand <laughs> of all time. Hey guys, I'm here in Greece with an absolute legend of the game, the best backhand in table tennis, Kalinikos Kuranga. Welcome to Athens. Thank you, how are you doing? Fine. Awesome, well thanks so much for having me here and showing me around, I can't wait to find out your story. Yeah, let's start to see the sports center where we practice the last 30 years. A lot of memory, a lot of history that uh, we played table tennis here. What's one of your uh, greatest memories? The results, it's the most that mm -hmm. you remember, like second in European Championship, third in the World Championship, winner of the top 12. So. These are the main memories. I saw some of your emotions see. when you won some of these matches. You just go crazy. It's this amazing. is different it's than the normal life. Yeah. Yeah, it's... Here's the ping pong hole. Eh? You can see Yannis Zguropoulos, two yeah. times European junior champion. Very strong. Our future. His backhand is amazing. His backhand is watching you. <laughs> <laughs> He's been watching your backhand. And he trained here with you the whole time and uh, Greece? Now he lived also some uh, period in uh, Sweden and he played there also for a club. So he's working in different places? And yes. So this building here, this is, this is just for table tennis? Yes. This whole room? It's very good, uh, especially that uh, now with the Christ, mm -hmm. many sports go down like this. We still have this uh, facility to practice. So how many sessions do you have a day here then? Normally we have like uh, three times in the morning, a week. Three times? Uh, in the morning yeah. a week and all the afternoon. Wow, well, every afternoon. Every afternoon, uh, okay. yes. On Instagram, it's on Table Tennis Daily. <laughs> yeah, this is stretch the phone. Yeah, stretch the phone. <laughs> 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 European junior champion, twice. Yes. Amazing. This guy's a beast, I love it. <laughs> Working hard, you're sweating. Yes. How is it having Kalinikos in the training hall? Must be amazing. Yes, it's a very good feeling. I can see when he plays, how he hit the ball, mm -hmm. and I can take many things from yeah. him. What sort of things have you took that you've found from his game? I like his backhand. Me too. <laughs> uh, he has one of the best backhands in, on the world. He has very good touch when he hit the ball and I try to make the same. So you said they have basketball here, right? Yeah, we can go to see the main hall. It's oh, a huge okay. hall. Wow, okay. <laughs> so around here, and also they use for motocross also really, sometimes. Yeah? yeah, and it's really nice here. Wow, look at this place. <laughs> it's a huge hall they have. This is crazy. How many people can be in here? I think it's like uh, 15, 15 16,000. Wow. When you played in the Paris in World Championships, there was 12,000 watching, right? Yeah, yeah, that must have been an amazing also it's, feeling. It's a big hall. Uh, yeah. Bercy, it's similar. So what, what was it like for you, the World Championship? The spectators have said that's been their favorite event, the World Championships in 2003 in Paris. And what was it like playing there? You reached the semi-final. It must have been an amazing feeling. It's a good result and the, sure, the feeling was uh, very good, but uh, it was the one of the best world championship that uh, Europe was even better than China. Yeah. But they were equal, or I mean, we could, we could fight. And that's why maybe the people remember it so good. It was non-Chinese player in the final. Unheard of. It's a long time. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, Greece is like the birthplace of Olympics as well. So like, this has a lot of history, this place. Of course. That's why also when they organized it, they did it very well. Yeah. Uh, it was amazing Olympics. Here you have a picture from the 2004. That's so cool. Oh, looks. That's amazing. Oh, That's here me. you are. Hey, hey. <laughs> if they mimic the surf. Yes. <laughs> so should we head now to get some food? Yes. I have a surprise for you. Oh, yeah. exciting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Probably some seafood or something. Where is there, you don't care about the food. Uh, okay. What do you see in the... Oh, okay. <laughs> Sightseeing. Be before Jesus. Don't want to knock the GoPro off. With your backhand, is this something you but my, were coached? Did someone teach you this backhand? My backhand come late. It didn't teach me anyone, I think. I just, this was my talent, I can say. Because I didn't have a, a backhand uh, when I was a cadet. It started to be in the junior, to put it in my game in junior. That's why in junior I didn't have so good results or so good player. Also, the move was good. I had a good move. 
anyway, I feel it that I can do it. Yeah. So I start to improve it. You recently played in the uh, European Championships. That was uh, 30 years since the first time you actually entered a European Championships. Yeah. Do you notice a big difference in the game? I mean, 30 years ago, when you first went there, when you were 16. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, of course, mm. it's a big difference now. Yeah. Did you prefer it before? You wish, just your preference. I don't know. I don't know. It changed, but it's a sport that you can adjust. Sure, you can't be like the player that they learn to play this table tennis, just this table tennis like now, like 10 years ago, but you can adjust. Because there was a lot of changes and I catch all. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. Look, you're right. <laughs> this is perfect. You've probably taken me to one of the best places in the world. You're the man. Look at that. That's crazy. I have here fan questions from the internet. Okay. So let's see what we've got here. First question from Table Study Forum member Zio. He asks, would you agree that the gymnastics training you received in your early days contributed to your success? Sure was the main point. I was already ready athlete. Mm. on the hands to keep good uh, racket and make uh, correct the movement. And this it was, uh, I get all the good work, what they did in gymnastics at the beginning to make you strong. Okay, next question from uh, Louis Price. How often do you change your rubbers? I don't know, normally if you have a practice, how I told you, like uh, three times uh, in the morning and all the afternoons, normally as a professional player and if you play like this, you need every week the wow. rubber or every 10 days. Let's say an average player like myself, how much should I be changing my rubbers? I mean, because obviously if you're not sponsored, you don't get the yeah. equipment, you know, how much do you think an average player should change? It depends. If you take care of the rubber and you don't practice, you practice one time a week, yeah. then maybe it keeps you for three months. It's yeah. okay. It depends on how much you practice. An Instagram user Seco Pick, he asks, if you didn't play table tennis, if it wasn't table tennis, what would you do? Oh, I don't know, hard, mm. Mm -hmm. but uh, I don't know, maybe I should stay in gymnastic, yeah. maybe also running, mm. I don't know what, but... <laughs> <laughs> There's an interview with uh, the Formula One driver, you know, Lewis Hamilton, yeah. yeah. He said in an interview once that he thinks that all professional athletes, whatever sport they would have chose, they would reach the highest level. So do you think if you did any other sport, you would get to the top? Because of the way you are, your personality, your mind, Physical. Uh, I don't know if I will success, but sure I was will try mm. to arrive there. Are you, are you good at other things you do then, like in other stuff you do in life? Let's like, say you play football, tennis, squash. Yep. I will try to be the same as in table tennis. Mm. I think it's what uh, how you like to go over your limit. Next questioning is by Emil Para on Instagram. Who was your idol and hero and why? I didn't have a special one, but sure, the athlete who remained for us, it's uh, Jano Wevalner, who was a very clever table tennis player. Having Walton as your idol must have been amazing because you, you've beaten him multiple times in the tournaments. And what is it like playing against him and then... It doesn't change anything. Mm. That it doesn't matter if I beat him or... It, the way how well he was playing. Mm -hmm. when, you, when you played him, did he ever do anything that, that stood out? He was serving very good. Serving, okay, yeah. yeah. He was serving very good. I remember I played first time with him. It has so big problem to <laughs> receive the service. After, when I start to receiving yeah. better the service, then he start losing. Right. <laughs> yeah, but the service was so so difficult to make it. It was not easy service. How does he make it so difficult? What's he I think this is a talent, how I make the back end. This okay. is how he make the service. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> and uh, he knows where is the ball after. And it doesn't, how. Even if you train, you will, you will not arrive in the same back end like me. Mm -hmm. Maybe it can be better, but not same. Sure, sure. <laughs> Yannick Kondasu, he asks, describe your back end in three words. Powerful. Exactly contact with the ball and direction. It's not just all about power, it's the direction, isn't it? Yes, yeah. of course. I sure felt that earlier today in the training hall. When I hit your racket, it comes fast back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was a nice meal. Oh, feel good now. <laughs> Have you seen much of T2? 
Yes, also this it's good. The table tennis it's going now better and better in this kind of private tournament, mm. private and individual. But uh, I don't know how and what role the clubs will have in the future. This is a main point that uh, international association have to take care because the player become from the clubs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a good player will born in one club, not in uh, traveling to pro tour or not in the not in one national center. We have the national center 30 years. No one player born in the national center. Mm -hmm. Ioan is Guropoulos, he come from his club, he was practicing there and he arrived a ready player. Yeah, sure. And then he's coming. The national, national team, they will uh, select him to be there. Yeah, yeah. This is the selection what the association make from all the clubs. And they, they bring them there and they are obliged to come to practice mm -hmm. to be there following the program. And then they can develop to be a good international player. But to, to have a player, then you have to take care also about the clubs. And this, I'm afraid, in future will be not so yeah. good. There it's Le Cabitus. Uh -huh. And we will go there up. Awesome. Look. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> okay, now I know why you wanted to bring me here. Jeez. Look at this. See the sports hall, if you look, is the sea there. Yeah, I see, yeah. That's and crazy. this is going all up like this. It's crazy. You've gone through so much in your career, and I just want to ask, what, what do you feel it took to get to where you are today? For all young players out there who want to achieve their dreams, you know, become the best they can be at table tennis, what advice, what one piece of advice do you have for them? I think first of all, it was the work, the hard work, which I chose the hard way, not the easy way to escape things and doing the hard practices and never miss a practice. Okay, I miss in my life many practices because of injury, or, but not for other reasons like, uh, going out, friends, uh, girlfriend, or anything like that. If you are doing a little bit of this too, you will find many advices by yourself. Mm. Thinking the new player, they have to think also alone. They need support from the coaches and from uh, the manager and helping from the company and from everything. But the main point, they have to start to think alone because they are in the point they are alone. No one keep the hand of the player or just give advice. And if they can execute the advice, it's because they think alone. But I get the feeling from me, spending the day with you, you know, you're all about hard work and physicality and keeping fit and really looking after yourself and pushing your body to the limit. Yeah, this is true, but this doesn't matter that you live a point and a part of your life. No, the life was normal. I had a good life and uh, really I don't feel that I missed something in my life doing this. The balance was very good. And, and lastly, can anyone get to the top at table tennis? Of course they can do it. Everything is possible. Do you come up here much then? Uh, not now. For, here they make a lot of concert. Brian Adams was here. Yeah? Yeah. I like Brian Adams. Summer of 69. Yeah. And there it's our hall now where we go. Mm -hmm. Athens is huge. Yo, 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 yo. Don't be afraid. No, sorry, I'm a, really, I'm a bad passenger. I should, I should try. No, you're you're world class. Doesn't no, matter what you do. You, you, you have to learn. Look at this, I'm narrowing the roads up. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got your second practice today? Yeah. After the morning press session with me. Good training, eh? Yes. I'm ready now for the good one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A bit more better quality. Greece is huge for sport and you are an absolute icon. Are you really known in Greece? Like if you go down the street, you know? Not really like this. The name is very big. Your Greece. name is amazing. <laughs> the name, the name they, they, they call the name uh, also like uh, the sport. The uh, table tennis, it's Kranga. I love it. <laughs> Do you ever sit down and say to yourself, wow, I'm, I'm Kranga? 
No. <laughs> I would. <laughs> like, yeah, I've got the best backhand in the world. I had it. Yeah, I know, come on. This is I the don't question. know anyone who hits the ball like you. <laughs> no one hits the ball <laughs> like you. That's why if I had it, then maybe forever <laughs> to keep it. <laughs> so it's a basketball game tonight as well, yeah? Yeah, you can look here. Now. Yeah, I want to just let a little sneak. Put the camera down and then we go. Camera's off now, gonna watch a bit of basketball. We go practice now. The serious stuff, second session. So this is your pre-warm-up routine? Yes, uh, it's all the time doing in the morning. Uh -huh. For the hand to be more warm, more powerful, because, you know, maybe the ball will bound in different <laughs> <laughs> yeah. places and it's uh, quite early. You need your power as well? Yes. <laughs> Okay. Because a lot of players in table tennis get like shoulder injuries and elbow. elbow so this is to like strengthen. Okay. And how many times do you make this every day? Every day before every practice. Okay. It's really helping me a mm. lot. Since I start to use it, it's much better feeling. Mm. Training and uh, three times a week, I'm trying to do a good running. Mm -hmm. And uh, gym we have after practice here. Now I know the secret to your backhand, huh? I do this every day. <laughs> yeah, this one, here. Yeah. <laughs> it's helping. Very good for the backhand. <laughs> Thank you so much for showing me around. I've had a great time and um, your story is incredible and I admire you. I think everyone watching admires you and you're an inspiration. So I appreciate today and um, yeah, I, I want to ask, where do, you, where do you see your future going? Because you, you, you still play such high level table tennis. What, what's your goals now as, as in your career? I don't know. It's my goal to be physically very good and healthy. This is important, not be a major injury or... Yeah. And for the... Next few years I will try to stay playing or enjoying because it's a good uh, thing. Uh, after then I will work in the sports army. Uh, this already exists, this work, and uh, I am there also this time. But I prefer also to do a little bit more high level, such time that I can and uh, it's nothing bad with my health or injury. You can also uh, you know, train some people, teach them the backhand. Ah, yes, I don't know. <laughs>
I was watching your backhand there against yeah. the backspin. Yes. There is no question about it. You have the best backhand <laughs> of all time. There's no question about it. It's ridiculous. <laughs> tell me a player who's got a better backhand than you. I don't know. I will watch and I will tell you. You'll watch it, perfect. All right, well, thanks so much for today and it's been brilliant. And guys, thanks for watching. Thank you. Till next time. See awesome, you. take care. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.